Now let's take down the being formerly known as Trinkov. So I was kind of right on one thing that he turned into a Gnosis for some reason. Uh, don't really know what to do here. Oh, Oda, Oda, God, and Gargoyle. Okay. I still don't know how to read the, the weaknesses, <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know what S I is it S L S I S L? I don't know. Ouch. Okay, off to a fantastic start. Sheehan's probably just going to have to be focused on healing. We have to get rid of those backup dancers as soon as possible. Powered up after losing Servant. Phenomenal. Maybe we don't kill the other one just yet then. Maybe just taking down one is enough for now and then we'll focus on the boss. And hope we can just do that. I don't know. That's going to be annoying to deal with, though. <sighs> Jeez! Oh, and he's boosting! Great! Oh, lost. Wasn't aware I was going to be needing resistances to that, but I probably should have. Uh, forget who I gave it to. Okay. Just focus on R blading the gargoyle. Because that seems to work quite well. Oh, phenomenal. The enemy can heal too. That's just great. Okay, he's inflicted with lost, but I don't exactly know what that does. I, okay. So that is coming from the backup dancer, it looks like, so... Kind of have to kill that guy. Not like that. Hmm, seal of silence makes me think it's something to do with ether. In which case, yeah, that's fine if it's on Ziggy. Okay, Shion is probably dead. So the enemy gets another turn. Yep. Okay, we only have one of these revived EXs, but I'm, on I'm honestly just going to use it now. Okay, Servant down. Hopefully, this guy stops healing. Stops with the AoE as well. Wouldn't that be delightful? But now we've just got to actually beat the thing itself, which... Easier said than done. Although, if he keeps missing... Oh, but he keeps boosting. Honestly, scared. Good choice. It is easier to deal with now that it doesn't have the backup dancers, though, at least. So that's something. How does this do? Not great. Okay. Jeez! 
please. I think that literally did maximum health. <laughs> there was no way she would have survived that even at full health. That's nasty. Problem is though, because I'm spending too much time healing and reviving, I've not actually had a chance to analyze this guy. I don't even know how much health he has. Because now we're in a death loop. Where she just gets revived and died all again. Look, it's happening again. That's the third time she's died, by the way. In a row. Three turns, three deaths. Oh, two turns in a row. Great. No yep, kills her now. Phenomenal. Been in this boss fight for 15 minutes. <laughs> Not even halfway. Great. Great, great, great. Hemlock, such a useful item. One ally sets the HP to one. Great. Uh, that could have, that could also be useful, but don't have enough to AOE it right now. Ooh, downforce. Fizz attack down for B and G enemies. I believe this is a G enemy, isn't it? It's Gnosis. Maybe I'm struggling because I'm not using all of the abilities I have available. Let's try it anyway. It didn't seem to help that much. Especially when he gets two turns in a row anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? <clears throat> Really? Down. Got a perfect crit right when I needed it. Great, 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 great. This is not a great sign, by the way, that I'm struggling this much on this boss. It really makes me think I am very underleveled. Literally, I'm just spending most of the turns just healing. Because Shion is pretty much dedicated to healing. And even Ziggy has to use half of his turns for healing as well. Which is not great momentum. <sighs> Finally, 20 minutes that boss took. cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant eyes. The commander? But who's that with? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, Man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenko? Let us rekindle the torch so that human consciousness may once again be resurrected for our sake and that of our God. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No. It must have been the Commander's feelings. The 
Commander. What was it that you were searching for? I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me, I rejected the world. Xion, I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. Xion. You'll eventually find yourself here, too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. Well, that's ominous. I can tell. It's nothing you need to worry about. I'm sorry. Was that really the commander? Tell me, Chaos. Surely we didn't. Xi'an. The truth isn't always a pleasant thing to know. We're still here, and none of us have turned into Gnosis. Perhaps. 
Perhaps we can take solace in that. Here, stand up. The connection between the phenomenon boundaries is dissipated. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. Somehow. Are you all right? Captain! Alan! <laughs> They're coming after us! All speed ahead! Shake him off! Aye, sir. Man! There's a ton of them! What the? Is that who I think it is? Hey, it's you! So we're finally meeting up. And apparently, the the captain what? knows these guys. All guns, target the noses. Cut open an escape path for the Elsa and annihilate the enemy. Yo, can we get one of those? <laughs> that seems quite useful. <laughs> Sounds like the fighting start. Are we gonna be okay? There were so many of them when we transferred in. They destroyed an entire Federation fleet. It would be wiser for us to flee than fight. This is no good. We'll never get all of them. But what should we do? We should have resupplied early. This is what I get for taking on the UTIC. Otherwise, this would be a cinch. Little Master, enemy group formation approaching from 5 o'clock. We're being surrounded on all sides. So they're not going to let us go, huh? And they've coordinated their attack patterns. I've never seen them fight like this before. Even if we gate jump out of here, we may not be able to shake them. Little Master, another group is chasing after the Elsa! Captain! Hey, you alright? No. <laughs> Things are very much not alright. Feeling pain. Make me complete. What? I can't hear you. The air is too thin for her voice to carry.
sure to reload and recreate some other frame. Permutational phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. Could you have done that sooner? <laughs> I feel like that would have helped in our last boss fight. <laughs> Did her eye colour just change? I wonder if that's significant. Wasn't so bad. Chief. Did. Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the gnosis. Oh, absorbed that. She have weaponry. We don't not even know. Good, probably. That might be a no, consequential thing later on. Weapon. That was something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the gnosis, right? Uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. Who's this little master? Uh, thanks for helping Whoa. us out, little master. Sorry about all the This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin. Is this your hand at work? Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. So, you got it? Roger, little master. Thanks for helping us out. You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? I ask myself you know, that every day. Caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that little master? He's our boss. The really? Hey, little master. We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. <laughs> you could say that. Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? 
From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, oh, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this wuss behind? He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. And I'm definitely giving him the room to you. Come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Probably a few things. No, it's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to um meet you. Junior. Guinan Jr. I got a real name. But let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the foundation. So I guess I'm gonna be finding out something about the Zohars though. Finally. Is that, is that who I think it is? Is Virgil back? God, I hope not.